Hello, welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B. Happy to have everybody with us today. So guys, today I am going to do something a little bit different from what I normally do. I am going to be shooting a video about Stevie's Big Giant Sales Thread. Um, so as most of you know, I have just kind of let stuff pile up and pile up and pile up over the past two years. And I have a lot of stuff I need to sell. I have some cool new stuff. I've got some cool old stuff. I've got a little bit of uh, something for everybody, I guess you could say. Some of the stuff you're never going to see in-game again. So I'm just going to kind of go through some of the basic stuff uh, that I'm starting with. And then we will kind of go from there. I will actually probably make two or three of these videos over the next week or so. I do start my new job uh, next Monday. It will be a night job. I think the first week or so is probably days, and then I've got to get adjusted to nights. But I took this job specifically because it will allow me to continue to play EU, continue to make videos, and run EarnPed.com for you guys, while also meeting a lot of my real-life goals in uh, real life. Couldn't have asked for a better opportunity, so very, very glad to be doing that. But let's get right to it. So first of all, guys, for those of you who may not be aware, this is my ex-girlfriend, Princess Hopsalot. Babe, if you would, say hi to everybody. So this is her. She is usually at Twin Peaks. Every now and then she'll be on Arcadia. Uh, you can usually find her in Cali Trade or in local chat. Sometimes she'll be wearing her just a pixie armor. She's got a couple of other costumes she likes to wear, but right now, for some reason, she's in a bikini. I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't ask questions. So let's get right to it. So first things first, guys, uh, let's go through something you guys will probably never see again. This is a boosted blueprint for a Geotrek H15 vial. Now, this is a gun that used to be very, very popular uh, back in the day. It is not a Loot 2.0 gun necessarily, but I'm not interested in this blueprint for the gun itself. I'm interested in it because of the blueprint. So this is probably going to be the last one ever in-game. This is probably going to be the last one ever actually made in-game. Here's why. If we go through the list of things that you have to have to craft this, notice you don't have to have very high crafting skills. However, you do have to have some things that you might not have seen in your loot. So the first thing I want you to look at is Listonite. Listonite Steel Ingot. Now this is not an ore or in matter that you're just going to find in the ground. The reason being is because you actually have to make this ingot. So the way you make this ingot is you take out a refiner, you turn it on, and you will need 60 Nova Fragments, 1 Azure Dite Stone, not ingot, stone, 22 Listerium Stone, 3 Iron Stone, and 38 Robot Weapon Grip to make each ingot. Now, this is an 80-click blueprint, so you're going to need 240 total ingots. Now, th this stuff is not really hard to find. Uh, Iron, Listerium, Azure Dite, very common. Nova Fragment, very common. Robot Weapon Grip, very common. I actually had planned a video where I was going to actually make the ingots for this blueprint, and it just never ended up happening. Um, I mainly needed the Iron and the Listerium and the Azure Dite for other stuff I was crafting, and then I used the Robot Weapon Grips, I'd say, for something I was crafting, so I didn't do it. However, if you're going to click this blueprint, remember it is a boosted blueprint. So what does that mean? It means that if we get a near success, it should spit out the TT value or close to it of the inputs. If we get a success, it should give us a multiplier, hopefully a high one, right? Now there might be some fells in there too, but the reason this is such a special blueprint is because of the rest of the stuff on this list. Now making these list tonight steel ingots is not hard. Uh, the robot safety systems are very easy to get on auction. Putty is very easy to get. I want you to look at these three down here. So I'm actually going to pin this over here. Number one, the Geotrek hardened catalytic converters. These are fairly easy to get off auction. I have all of them that you will need for all 80 clicks. They come with the blueprint. I'm selling it as a package. These are very hard to craft. Very few people can craft them, so I do have plenty of those to go with it. There's enough to get you through all 80 clicks here. But then look at the next one, the Machano Matrix Adapter Unit 1. Now, these are extremely, extremely rare. I mean extremely rare. Reason being is in order to make these, you had to have a blueprint. The blueprint itself is not hard to get your hands on. Uh, they come up on auction every now and then. The problem is the inputs that you need to make these things no longer drop. 
they're no longer in the loop pool so therefore these uh, Machano matrix adapters are extremely extremely hard to get your hands on and I have 320 of them which is exactly how many you need to go through all 80 clicks of the blueprint this is also the reason that the robot beacons are so freakishly rare is because the robot beacons require these adapter unit ones in order to be made there's just not very many of them and the reason being like I said the stuff that you need to make these has been taken out of the loot pool for a long time now so there's only a couple of people in game that can still make them because they have stockpiles from back in the day um, the other thing you will need for this blueprint is the geotrek buttstock again I have plenty of these we've got you need one per click I've got 80 of them so when it comes to the hard to get stuff these three down here it comes with the blueprint I'm selling it all as a package and the reason I am selling it is like I said I've I've just got way too much stuff I've got way too many things I just need to condense everything down um, for the package I'm asking 1500 ped there might be a little bit of flexibility in that not a lot mainly because of how freakishly hard these inputs are to get now you will have to get uh, the robot safety systems, the putty, and make your own list, list tonight still. However, everything else is included, and there's enough to get you through all 80 clicks. Potentially, this could be a Hoff maker, if not an all-time high maker. Um, I've never seen somebody click one of these blueprints because of how rare the inputs are. So, given the fact that there's virtually none of these guns left in game, I would imagine the system is primed to spit out a pretty good Hoff. Um, what I've noticed is kind of like mining. If we notice that iron is dropping, we want to go get iron out of the ground, and then we want to wait for it to stop dropping and the system to rebalance because then we can get higher market for our iron, right? I've noticed the same thing with weapons crafting. If a lot of weapons have been used and there's not a lot available and you're crafting that particular weapon, it will usually give you a larger return than normal versus if you're crafting a weapon that there's plenty of already. And the game knows you don't need more. So the game is very good at balancing itself, which means that for this being a boosted blueprint, there's a very, very good chance of there being a very good Hoff in there somewhere, if not an all-time high. So for the package, uh, the blueprint, and all the goodies to go with it, except for those three that you got to get off auction or get yourself, 1,500 ped. So moving on from there, uh, let's get to some of the stuff that most of you guys are probably pretty familiar with. Mining boxes. I've got six 30 ped each. Uh... Christmas strong boxes and Easter strong boxes. Currently, where'd my notes go? Um, four ped each on those. I've got 460 Christmas boxes. I've got 613 Easter boxes. Summer boxes. Uh, summer boxes are going to be 3.5 ped each. Halloween boxes are 2.5 ped each. I've got 2,370 ish. So plenty of Easter boxes to go around. I'm sure once Christmas hits, the Christmas box number will go through the roof too. Um, the reason the values differ between the boxes, as I'm sure most of you guys already know, is it depends what ring is in there. We had a really, really good Easter ring, a really good Christmas ring, and a fairly good summer ring. So obviously the prices are a little bit higher on those. However, the Halloween ring wasn't quite as good, which is why only 2.5 ped per box for the Halloween boxes. Now, if you stock up on the boxes now and next year there's a killer ring that pushes the price of the boxes through the roof, good for you. Um, so those are available should anybody want them. Next up, the Salafa Laser Sight MK3. Now, this is not one. There are two of these that I have. Two. Okay? Okay. So let me explain what is so special about this. It increases the critical damage by 20%. So theoretically, if you ran these with Earthshocker armor with Deva FEM, uh, FEN pills, you could max out your critical damage that you're doing. Not your critical chance, your critical damage. Now why two? Because you can dual wield. You can put one directly on the weapon, and then you can put one on a Bullseye 8, and then put the Bullseye 8 on the weapon. So you can essentially use two at once, which would give you 40% more critical damage just from these two. These are very rare. These are made from the new uh, blueprints on Taloon. Uh, at the moment, these have been the only two full TT ones in-game that have currently been for sale for the past couple of weeks. I believe the person who owns the blueprint for this might have made one or two more recently. I don't know if they're still available or not. Uh, for the pair, it's 2,500 ped for the pair. So 1,250 ped each, however they come as a pair, so 2,500 ped should you want them. If not, they will be getting used in Category 9 Mayhem uh, probably come Christmas. So at the moment, they are currently for sale, 2,500 ped for both. 
if you're going to use them, Mayhem would be the place to use them for sure. Like I said, one goes directly on the weapon, the other goes on a bullseye 8, and then goes on the weapon. The efficiency is not correct. Uh, the efficiency says 100%. They're going to fix that in a future update. I've tested it. Um, it looks to be somewhere in the 85 to 90% range because on the BP-20 FEN, it actually increased the efficiency a little bit. So it's got to be above like 82.2. So it's got to be somewhere close to 85 to 90 percent efficiency on these bad boys, um, because these are the MK3 sites. They have 121,000 shots each, 121,000 so shots each. So if you use them individually, you're looking at 242,000 shots. If you dual wield them, you're looking at 121,000. Um, when you break it down with the markup and everything that's on them, it, that roughly comes out to roughly one peck per shot or one and a half, something like that which is not bad at all for what you're getting out of it, which is why I'm not in a hurry to sell them. If I sell them, cool, 2,500 pep for the pair. If I don't, don't care because I'll end up using them because that is a ridiculous amount of damage and efficiency that you're getting there. So moving on from that, now we're going to get into some of the stuff that is a little bit more old school, some stuff that you guys might see again and some stuff you'll never see again. First up is going to be the Archon Sword. So I have had this for quite some time. This will come in super, super handy if you're wanting to do Christmas Mayhem because the secondary competition in Christmas Mayhem requires melee and mind force skills. So my Archon Sword is uh, tier 3.99. It's ready to tier to tier 4. It's ready to go should you decide to, to take it there. Uh, the tier increase rate is 127 over 200, so not great, not horrible either. Um, that's really not going to make it hard to tier until you hit about tier 7 or 8. Once you hit about tier 7, it's going to get a little bit difficult to tier. Um, one of the things that I love about this is you can use a melee trauma 6 on it and it'll just barely over amp it. Or you can go with a melee trauma 4 and under amp it. Uh, personally, I don't use either, but it is a great score, great for skilling. If you're going to use this sword... Uh, you want to have a portable repair unit with you because it does decay fairly fast um, because it's an old school sword. But notice that it does not require ammo burn. Notice there's no ammo burn. So that's why it doesn't decay quickly. That's why it does decay quickly. Um, but great for skilling uh, melee. Also great for the upcoming Mayhem event. I expect that the value of these things is probably going to go up a little bit whenever Mayhem rolls around. So if you get it now, cool. Uh, 3,000 ped and it's yours. Now that's TT and markup included. Uh, TT is currently 23.78 over 123 would be full TT. So it's got about 20% of TT left. Uh, 3,000 ped and it's yours. Uh, like I said, it's th tier 3.99. If you want to make it tier 4 before Mayhem, it should be fairly easy to do. Um, if not, you can just throw three enhancers on it and go with it. So one of the things I like about it is it doesn't require a huge amount of skills for most people to use. Most people, if you're out there doing some hunting, uh, doing some melee, you're, you're probably going to be able to max this thing fairly quickly. So moving on from that one, next one up on the block that we have is going to be a Genuine Design Clone GDC 97. So this is my clone that I used when I very first started. It is tier 4. 4.49 tier increase rate is 172 over 200 so this thing does tier fairly quickly now this is an older school gun um, notice that I've got the tax per minute maxed however the damage interval still not quite maxed and the hit and crit hit not quite where I want it to be but the thing that I like about this gun is it does have pretty decent range so this is a great weapon especially at only 700 ammo burn if you're looking for a good low-level tagger that can tag from a ways out, uh, this is definitely going to be something you're going to want to consider. Like I said, currently tier 4.49. So you can also throw some accuracy enhancers on there to help you out with that. Um, that being said, it's good for lower-level players, like I said, especially if you're wanting a gun that can reach a lot further than the guns that you're probably using. So on the clone... Uh, 265 ped takes it. That includes TT. TT is 123.95. 124 ped is total TT. So there's only 5 peg missing off full TT. So 265 ped, TT plus markup included, and the clone is yours. Now, this one I get a lot of crap over. Let me explain why. Let's pull it up and look at it. 
my Omegaton M61A5. I get a lot of crap over this gun because people say, well, it's an old school pre loot 2.0 level 100 maxing gun. It's not any good anymore. Want to bet? So yes, it does have 49.3% efficiency. However, you can put a really good amp on this. You can put a limited armatrix amp on this. Now look at these stats. Yes, it does max at level 100. 23 attacks per minute. And yes, it's only got 29.1 damage per second. However, I want you to look at some very important stats with me here. This is a tier 3 weapon. It's currently tier 3.29. Tier increase rate 184 over 200. So this thing will tear up pretty quickly, especially uh, through tier 4, 5, and 6. Once you get to 7, 8, 9, 10, everything slows down tremendously. But look at the damage interval. All right. Now look at the range. 120 meters. Most of the Armatrix laser rifles, uh, your LR55, LR60, LR65, they go out like 85 meters. Uh, most of your BC, uh, your your B, your BC50, BC55, BC60, your BLP Armatrix, they go out like 66 meters. So this goes almost twice as far as a BLP Armatrix rifle. This goes almost 50% further than a uh, Armatrix laser rifle. Why is that important? Because A, this is a tagger. This is an extremely, extremely long distance tagger. But, more importantly, this is a sniper rifle. This isn't made for hunting mobs. Now, if you've got a mob that, like I, I said earlier with the, the clone, that you need to shoot from a long ways out to tag it to get it to draw to you, that's great. This gun does that. However, this is a sniper rifle, guys. That's exactly what this is, okay? So, even though it was designed for pre-Loot 2.0, this is made for PvP, so if you're wanting to go shoot people at sweat circles, or if you're wanting to try your hand at PvP, this is a great way to get a sniper rifle without having to spend 10,000 ped to do it. Like I said, this one is currently tier 3.29, and with that tier increase rate, it would probably be tier 4 or tier 5 fairly quickly with some moderate use. Now, if it was me, what I would do is I would throw a limited armatrix amp on this, and I wouldn't load it up with damage enhancers. I would load it up with accuracy enhancers for all three slots. And then I would go to town. And the great thing about it is not only do you have that range, but with the damage interval that it's already got, you're going to be able to take out very, very new players fairly easily. Now, you're not going to be able to take out an Uber with this. Uh, you would need a Tango for something like that. But a Tango is going to run you eight, nine, ten thousand 10,000 ped. However, if you're wanting to go shoot new players, um, especially at... Uh, What's the sweat circle with all the ambu? The one that I'm thinking of, they've got the teleporter and then there's the ambu sweat circle, not Boreas, the other one, Royal Club. Um, if you're wanting to go to Royal Club to the PVP area in between the TP and the ambu sweat circle, this is a great gun. I've taken it there many, many times. I've had a lot of fun, made a lot of people mad. Uh, the reason I like to go there is it's PVP, but it's not lootable PVP. I can shoot you and kill you but I'm not actually taking anything from you. I'm being rewarded by the loot system. I'm being rewarded by the game. I'm just making you a little bit angry because now you've got to revive and, and run back to the sweat circle, but you're not at risk at losing any of your loot. So as far as a hunting gun, it's great for a tagger, but this is really a sniper rifle. So if there's anybody out there that's wanting to get in to uh, PVP and you're wanting to get started without spending an absolute fortune, right now, for the M61A5, I'm asking 3,750 ped. I might be willing to take less just because I don't do a lot of PvPing anymore. Because, quite frankly, I suck at it. I have no hand-eye coordination, guys, so it's very, very hard for me. Um, but if there's somebody that really wants it, I would probably lower it down closer to 3,000. I'd be willing to trade it for a CLD just because the CLD would do me more good because I don't do a lot of PVPing these days. But asking 3,750 ped, that includes the, uh, I believe it's 250 ped TT. Yeah, 250 ped TT included. So, you know, if it's something you're really wanting, hit me up about it. I might trade for AUDs also. Um, just talk to me if it's something that you're wanting because I would like to see it go to a good home where it's really going to get some use. Uh, like I said, it, great for a tagger, also great for if you're wanting to do a lot of PvP. That's mainly what it's designed for. Now, the next set of stuff, you guys are probably going to 
really, really love me for or really, love me, really, really hate me for. I had this stuff put in storage for a very long time. This is what I started with. This is the thing that kicked off the whole thing after Zykeon for me. My old school TT set of weapons from the original trade terminal on Planet Calypso. So first up is going to be the Castorian Combat in Blade A. Now, mine is Pixie. Stop. Sorry, guys. Pixie wants to play. Um, mine is tier 0 0.99. It's ready to tier to tier 1. This is the old school unlimited sword that you used to get out of the trade terminal. This is what I originally used whenever I very first started hunting on Planet Calypso after my six months at Zykeon. Um, great sword. I still use it every now and then. And these TT weapons are going to be coming as a set, guys. Moving on from the sword. Thanks, babe. We have the Solomate Apollo. I always call it the Apollo. I guess it's Opalo. I, I have no idea how, how you pronounce it. But obviously one of the most famous guns in-game. Um, this was the original rifle that you used to be able to get out of the trade terminal. Again, it is unlimited because this is the old school unlimited set of gear from the trade terminal. Mine is currently tier 0 0.99, ready to tier to tier 1, 169 over 200 tier rate. Hold on one second, guys. I need the knuckles, the knife, and the pistol, please. Sorry, guys, we're coordinating on, on like three different screens here. There's like four of us here. Next up, as part of the package, is the Castorian in Knuckles A. These are the original Power Fist Knuckles from the Trade Terminal. Mine are currently Tier 3.39, <clears throat> Tier Rate 131 over 200. So already have three Enhancer Sockets open. A uh, little ways to go before you hit Tier 4. But I used to love these for skilling... Uh, power fist what I would do is I would go out <clears throat> and I would hunt punies I would use the rifle and the pistol and I would do my hunting with rifle and pistol and then whenever I cycled through the ammo and I didn't have any more ammo because these this is the old school set that doesn't use ammo for melee and for power fist I would get the sword the knife and the knuckles and I would just go start bashing creatures over the head I would then take the ammo that I got from those creatures the shrapnel and I would go back out with the Apollo and the pistol so next in the set is the short blade knife I'm waiting on the link to be sent to me here there we go so the survival in blade a the old school short blade knife i have used this many a time to hunt many many punies currently tier 1.09 tier increase rate 141 over 200 this was actually one of my favorites. I preferred to use this and the knuckles over the big sword, but that was just personal preference because I liked hitting mobs in the face. And then rounding it out, if you would be so kind as to send me the pistol, babe. Thank you. The M2100, the old school TT Unlimited pistol. And that one is tier 1.19, tier increase rate 159 over 200. So, like I said, guys, after Zykeon, what I did is I would go out and I would use the pistol and the uh, rifle, and I would just cycle through my ammo. And when I didn't have any ammo or shrapnel left, I'd grab the knife, the sword, and the brass knuckles, and I'd just go to town and use those to get more shrapnel, which I would then convert back into ammo, go all the way through it again, and then I would just repair everything and, and keep the cycle going. And that's how I very first got started. Um, I know there's a lot of people that do like the current limited stuff you can get out of the trade terminal. That's fine. Um, I've got my own opinion on that too. However, if you want one of the last remaining full sets of weapons that are unlimited from the original trade terminal, I've got all five. And uh, for the set of five, you're talking a thousand ped. Thousand ped gets you all five and they will be full TT. Um, are they necessarily, quote-unquote, worth that? Yeah, that's up to you guys. I'm not going to make anybody buy anything from me. I'm, I'm also not in a rush to sell anything to anybody. 
the thing is this stuff is rare and it's just getting harder and harder to get you can probably get the apollo because there were a lot of those that people bought up and just put in storage the m2100 is extremely rare and the the blades and the knuckles are virtually impossible to find so thousand ped takes the set of five and i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up because we can move on to another video uh later because i've got a lot more stuff that i'm going to be showing you like i said i've got a mix of everything i've got old school stuff new stuff and everything in between um the one thing i did want to put in this video uh the, the trick offensive please when you get a sec so my first mayhem was a halloween mayhem no 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 is it the shriek offensive or the night special no you're right i think you're right hold on let me check no i'm sorry she's right um, it was the EWE EP38 Night Special. So my very first Mayhem was a Halloween Mayhem uh, back about three years ago. And it was this gun right here, the EWE EP38 Night Special. This was the gun that I used for my first Mayhem. I would use a tagger to draw them to me, and then I would use this to finish them off. Even though it is an old school level 100 weapon, I had limited amp on it. Um, currently tier 0 0.99 tier increase rate 167 over 200 um, this is the gun that got me in my very first hall of fame that very first halloween mayhem i grinded and grinded and grinded with this thing and after a couple of days of grinding around the clock i hit a hall of fame for like 2200 pet or something like that it was my very first hall of fame ever with the ewe ep38 night special so this one, uh, like I said, tier 0 0.99, ready to tier, tier increase rate 167 over 200. Uh, TT value is currently 12.53 ped. Full TT would be 96 ped. Um, I tell you guys what, let's just call this one 70 ped takes it. 70 ped, TT, markup included, all that, and it's yours. So I know there's been some normal stuff, some weird stuff, some old school stuff in here. Um, like I said, I've got a lot more to come at this point. I'm just kind of cleaning out storage I also have a lot of paints up for sale on auction at the moment uh, if we go to auction I've currently got 1149 green paint cans 1130 turquoise 1530 purple 1273 yellow and 1842 blue uh, buyouts and starting bids are the same on all of them. Buyouts are respectively 138, 121, 120.92, 151.87, and 130.29. So that is plenty of paint if you're wanting to skill yellow or blue, or if you're needing yellow for, let's say, uh, the Viceroy mission. Green, turquoise, and purple, you've got plenty there to skill. Um, or if you're high enough level to use those, those are plenty to be able to do multiple items since you need like 333 cans to be guaranteed 100% success. You can do several items each with those. So those went on auction a couple hours ago. So guys, I'm going to leave it there for right now. We've already gone longer than I wanted. I'm just going to have to break the video into multiple parts. You guys will usually be able to find Princess at Twin Peaks. Uh, again, her name is Princess Hopsalot Miracle Promise. You can always get her uh, information from the user register or from me. She is usually on planet, even if I am not. Uh, she is great to help me out, and I really appreciate all of her hard work. She's kind of the magic behind the scenes that you guys don't always get to see. Um, it's also kind of nice to be friends with somebody that you dated, even though the relationship went bad. Sorry. Um, so she really helps me out a lot. She'll be at Twin Peaks, usually either in here by storage or over by the teleporter. And she will have most of these weapons on her. She'll also have a lot of the boxes on her and stuff like that for the foreseeable future. However, if you guys are interested in something, shoot me a message uh, and we can talk about it. Or like I said, you can find her at Twin Peaks or in Cali Trade. So guys, for right now, I'm going to leave it right there. I've got a lot, lot, lot more stuff I'll be showing you guys. Like I said, some really cool stuff, some old school stuff, some stuff you guys are going to go, huh, and scratch your head. Some stuff you're going to go, oh my God, that's awesome. So a little bit of everything. That way we've got something for everybody. If you guys need anything, feel free to holler at me. 
I'm going to get on to the next video, get this one uploaded, and just keep rocking and rolling. Thank you guys for helping support us both in-game and in real life. The best way you can help support us is by going over to earnped.com because when you earn, we earn. That is by far the best way you guys can help us. We really appreciate it and we're really looking forward to the new Treasure Island. It's coming out December 1st and Merry Mayhem starting shortly thereafter. So from everybody at earnped.com, I've been Steve, Stevie B. Sip, sip, smack, smack. F the haters. We will see you guys with another video real soon. Take care, Stevies.